Hi, um, my name is Jin Lee, and I'm an assistant professor of neurology, bioengineering, and neurosurgery at Stanford University. Um, I'm trained as an electrical engineer, and I currently study the brain, uh, which is why I have diverse uh, affiliations throughout different departments. And we have a unique approach of studying the brain, which involves making a video of how different elements of the brain interact uh, in a whole intact system. My real interest in the brain disease actually occurred when my uh, grandmother actually had a stroke and her memory was impaired, she couldn't move anymore. I, I went and uh, supported her uh, for many years uh, and it was very saddening to watch. And the fact that we can do very limited things with the brain, you just patch it up when there's bleeding, you make sure it doesn't bleed again. Uh, the fact that we can't really do anything to reverse simple things like um, improve your uh, motor function, improve the memory, to let the person be who they used to be, uh, that was very saddening. And when I started uh, doing research in imaging technology as a graduate student, and um, I started to learn more about the biological system, including the brain. Um, I had this insight one day where I think this is what we need to do. Look at uh, the dynamics, uh, provide uh, my knowledge uh, in systems science that I was fascinated with when I first entered the field of electrical engineering uh, into studying the brain. And we are very excited that we can finally have uh, these tools together to understand the dynamics of the brain. I think one of the important insights uh, we bring to the table for the study of uh, the brain is that um, we allow the brain to be studied in a whole system manner where we can uh, stimulate different parts of the brain and see how it responds and look at it as it happens. And without that knowledge, uh, it has been very difficult to understand how the brain works. And our hope is to uh, reverse engineer the brain's uh, dynamics and provide clues as to what goes wrong when the disease occurs, especially in Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's it's a very complex disease, as we all agree, and I don't think the solution will come from one particular discovery. It will have to be a multidisciplinary approach, and um, my hope is that our ability to see some of the things that we are starting to visualize with the tools that we develop will make a, a big impact but we don't think that will be the only solution and I hope that this technology will provide a platform for uh, many uh, other different disciplines to f learn how the brain interacts uh, as a result of different therapeutic uh, candidates and hope to accelerate the discovery through this process.